Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Edge has received its latest point release update, which Microsoft rolled out late last week on the 26th of April. And this is actually quite an important update because it does include a whole lot of different fixes and an announcement and some changes and a new feature. And it also includes the important security fixes that rolled out to the other Chromium-based web browsers last week. So to double check we have the update, we head to our main menu, Help and Feedback about Microsoft Edge. And because this update did roll out um, on Friday last week, I'm sure by now if you were using your browser, your Edge browser over the weekend, you would have received this update by now. But after the update has been applied, the version and build is sitting on 124.0.2478.67 and that point release has been bumped up from point 51. Now first of all Microsoft has fixed various bugs and performance issues with this point release which they are known to do. So if you have experienced any issues since upgrading to version 124 then just obviously just double check your browsers up to date. Now the important bit with this update is it includes the security fixes from the open source Chromium project and that includes four security fixes which address one critical vulnerability and three high-risk vulnerabilities. Now, a critical vulnerability is your highest ranked. So this is important security update, which is type confusion in angle. And then the high-risk vulnerabilities that have been patched are out of bounds, read in V8 APR, that's the V8 JavaScript engine, and use after free in Dawn. So four security fixes addressing one critical vulnerability and three high-risk vulnerabilities in the open source Chromium platform. Now, moving on to an announcement that Microsoft has made with this update. And it's regarding insecure downloads over HTTP. They say that users that download potentially dangerous content on HTTP sites, which are less secure, will receive a UR warning. And they give an example. And the example is this, which I'm just going to mention. Sample.exe can't be downloaded securely. And Microsoft says the user can still choose to proceed by selecting keep on the download items three dotted menu kind of action. So that would be your three dotted menu, downloads, and obviously that would enable this little hub where you would see that um, warning. Now, the warning why Microsoft has made this announcement was actually enabled in Edge 124 by accident. So... The warnings enablement in version 124 was accidental, according to Microsoft, and they have reverted the warning in this stable release, this point release. But they have mentioned the warning is planned to be turned on by default in Edge version 127. So just making you aware of that. And that's just a little announcement that Microsoft has made. Insecure downloads over HTTP. Now, a new feature that's been enabled that hasn't been listed in the release notes by Microsoft, which I did spot after updating with this latest point release, is if we head to the page settings new tab page menu, which has received recently a new layout and visual redesign, which I quite like and I have posted on previously, and I'll leave that video in the end screen, is that if we head to quick links and you are using quick links um, in the browser, they've included this setting, open in a new tab. So you have the option now to only open quick links in a new tab, which I think is a nice move. So it just gives you a little bit more um, versatility and functionality if you are using quick links, which I don't in the stable version, but that's just a little thing I spotted just to make you aware of. Now, they have rolled out quite an important fix for Windows Server, where they have removed Microsoft Chat Provider for Copilot in Windows from Windows Server devices. And Microsoft says the component was incorrectly installed on some devices in a previous Microsoft Edge update. And what they're referring to um, in this fix is what I've also posted on previously, and I'll leave that video also in the end screen, is if we head to over to our apps, installed apps list on Windows 10 and Windows 11, and we look for this little app, Microsoft Copilot, which is only 8 kilobytes in size, this is the chat provider for Copilot they are talking about, which they have now removed from Windows Server. And Microsoft had actually confirmed that Edge might incorrectly cause the Copilot app to be installed. But I did mention that in a previous video, which you can check out in the end screen if you would like some more information. So if you are using Windows Server, that uh, Copilot so-called chat provider that Microsoft is calling it 
has now been removed. And then the last so-called feature update, which I'm just going to mention, is email notifications for extension requests in the Microsoft Edge management service. And this is more applying to admins in corporations and enterprises, where Microsoft says, the Microsoft Edge management service now provides admins with the ability to receive email notifications for extensions that their users have requested. Once enabled, this will help inform them promptly of any new pending requests that they may have. So that's the official feature update with this latest point release. So as mentioned, quite a lot going on. And that's version 124.2478.67. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.